what is the best way to use a Kong in training your puppy? I'm going to give you at least eight ways that you can use the Kong to help your puppy in their training. The first way is to stop biting. All puppies bite and nip. And look at this picture of the white puppy biting the person's hand. And look at this video. This person is trying to pet this puppy on top of the head and the puppy's just grabbing the person's hand. This is normal puppy behavior, but we can use the Kong to help eliminate that behavior. Here's a video of Faye trying to pet Belle. And as she puts her hand down to pet her, Belle just opens her mouth and tries to grab Faye's hand. Again, this is normal. But look at what Faye did. She took the Kong and she held the Kong. And as she did, Belle licked the filling from the Kong and Faye is able to pet her. The second way to use your Kong in puppy training is to prevent destructive chewing. All puppies love to chew and they will. They'll chew your shoes, they'll chew the rugs, they'll chew anything they can get those little teeth into. So why not use a Kong, give the puppy something positive to do and they won't be as likely to chew and destroy things. Here's a puppy chewing a shoe and another one destroying a rug. All this can be eliminated by giving your puppy a Kong to work on and to empty. Here's a picture of the black puppy calmly licking the filling from the Kong. The third way to use the Kong is to help you in crate training. When your puppy will go into the crate and relax and lick the food from the Kong, as you see in this video, then they're going to think that the crate is a good place and they're not going to get frantic when you ask them to go in there and take a nap. You can also do the same thing with a puppy pen if you're not using a crate. Here's a picture of a pug in a crate relaxing. And also here's a video of Nikki relaxing in the crate working on her Kong. It's so important that your puppy has a positive association of being in the crate. The Kong will help you. Your puppy can lick the Kong and relax and take their naps in the crate. Another way to use the Kong is to decrease boredom. All puppies get bored and then they get themselves into trouble. So give your dog a Kong, fill it. You can even freeze it. Give it to your dog. Look at this dog, rolled over on his back, enjoying his Kong. He's not chewing the furniture. He's not chewing rugs. He's just enjoying himself licking the filling from the Kong. Next way is to slow down a fast eater. If you have a dog who just literally inhales their food, then what better way than to make up a Kong and give it to your dog so that they can take 10 to 15 minutes eating their meal. Or if you have a dog that's a real picky eater, then you can use the Kong to motivate your dog to finish their dinner. Nikki gets her meal every day in a Kong. Here's a picture of Nikki enjoying her Kong, licking the filling from the Kong. If you're getting value from this video, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. One of the best ways to use the Kong to help your puppy in training is to prevent separation anxiety. When you're going to be going back to work, you want your puppy to relax while you are not in the house. And the Kong will help them. Right now, before you go back to work, you want to get your puppy used to licking from the Kong and being able to walk away from your puppy while they are working on the Kong. Let them know that it's okay. They can be in the next room working on the Kong and you don't have to be right beside them. When a dog licks, they help themselves to relax. And it's so important that your dog is relaxed 
when you are leaving them to go back to work. I will be doing a video very soon on how to help an anxious dog with separation anxiety while you are working. So look for that one to come soon. Combining the mat exercise with the Kong is a great way to help your dog to prevent separation anxiety. You can see the link to the mat playlist in the description below. Here's a picture of Nikki laying on her mat, licking her Kong, enjoying herself while I am walking out of the room. Another way to use the Kong, reduce anxiety. Every 4th of July, every Memorial Day, whenever there are fireworks, I always have my Kong stuffed and frozen in the freezer. And when it's about time for the fireworks to go off, I get my Kongs out and my dogs relax with music and in a quiet part of the house, licking their Kongs. Kongs really do help to reduce anxiety. I've given you so many ways to use the Kong. Another one you can use is to help your dog to enjoy being groomed. Here's a picture of Kirby on the table and he's licking the Kong as I am brushing him. If you're enjoying this video, then you might enjoy the Kong playlist, which has many different videos on the Kong. And here's a video on best Kong stuffing and recipes for the Kong. Soon I will be having another video, which is how to teach your puppy to use the Kong and also new Kong recipes. Please take a look at the community tab. I will be putting in some questions. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, like our channel, and leave me a comment. How do you use your Kong for your puppy in training? Thank you. Bye from Joyce and Nikki and Beezy at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.